Welcome to Shawnee Union. This week we're going to take a look at the cameras I own. So I've bought probably hundreds of cameras in the past um, and I've narrowed it down to I think less than 20. You can do a count um, in this video too to see if that number is pretty accurate. But I think I have less than 20 cameras right now. And I go over why I have them and what I'm going to do with most of the stuff. I also go over the lenses and whatever's in my storage area. Um, if you're interested, and then I talk about some things that um, if you guys want for trade or you guys are interested in, let me know. Um, you can send me a comment on Twitter or on uh, Instagram or in YouTube um, if you're interested in any of this gear. Um, some of the stuff I'm not selling, but some of the stuff, you know, I can get rid of. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we'll go over what I have. Um... Start with the first camera, Canon G3 QL17. I buy a lot of cameras like this. This one is um, broken right now. It's a bad shutter. Bought it for $20, but um, you can easily repair this one and get it to working condition. I'm not sure how much it'll cost to repair the shutter. Um, maybe $50, but if you can get this for $70, that's still a deal. So that's like my thinking when I buy cameras like this. It's, it's a great camera. Um, build quality is pretty darn good. Um, not super high, but I, I really like it. Um, good weight. One of my favorite cameras, um, Canon P rangefinder. This is the one I bought in Japan, had it for a super long time. Really enjoy it. Um, amazing lens. This lens is like just as good as the Leica. Um, they call it the Japanese Sumicron and I can really understand why because it's that probably that good, but, um, great camera. One of my favorites probably will never sell this one, never get rid of it. Um, cause it has a lot of personal meaning to me. So it's one there. It's like an action cam, uh, the Xiaomi. Um, I have this weird thing with action cams. I have a couple and I don't use them enough. Um, I think that's a lot of people too. You buy them and you think you're going to do cool stuff with them and end up not using it. Um, so that's the case with this one. I probably should sell it or get rid of it at some point. But um, if anyone wants to trade for this, uh, I'd be down to trade. Um, or if anyone has a good project and they want to shoot me an offer or something like that, let me know. But um, don't use it a lot. Um, thought I would, but just haven't gotten much use out of it. Here we go. This is pretty amazing set too. Um, oh, I forgot I even bought this lens. Okay, this is the Tokina 28 2.8 lens. Anytime you can get a two, 28 millimeter lens, I think you should just pick it up. These are these are really valuable. I think I bought this for $10 at my local camera shop. Um, Pentax MX. Um, I'm really into these type of cameras where you have a 1,000 top shutter speed. Uh, bump that mic. Um, 1,000 top shutter speed and they're light. Um, Nikon had a version, Canon had a version. Um, the Nikon version is the Nikon FM and this is the Pentax version. I got this from David Hancock, so pretty fun little guy. I have the 50 millimeter lens as well right here. And um, Easily like one of the sharpest 50 millimeter lens um, I've handled. So um, a great lens and a great um, great lens, great build quality. Pentax, you know, dang, it's not out of focus. Pentax made some great stuff. Uh, K1000 is pretty amazing. This lens is pretty amazing as well. So there's that, the Pentax MX. Let's go through some lenses real quick. Some other stuff might pull this out a little bit more. These are Sony L-Series batteries. I use them for lights um, or my lighting setups. These are the smaller ones, so they, they can use them for my this guy too. Doing on-screen video. Um, haven't been doing enough video or a video like I used to, so that's been a change recently. Um, but this comes in really handy when you're doing video out in the field and you want people want to see what's going on. All right, this is the uh, Minolta Rocker 40 millimeter F2. Um, this is a Leica mount lens. Um, I have not been using this since I've gotten a 50 millimeter Supercon, so I will be selling this, just haven't had the time to sell it. This is the Nikon 35 PC shift lens. Let me see if I can get it focus. This is a Nikon 35 F2.8 PC Shift lens, a uh, great lens. I need to use it a little bit more, um, but it's a little bit heavy. That's one thing I, that um, I've been noticing 
you're running out of the house is not something you really want to grab, but if you're doing architecture stuff, perfect. This guy I bought for the camera body, it's the Carl Zeiss Planer 51.7. Um, love Zeiss lenses, love planar lenses. Um, so it makes a lot of sense to have this. Oh, you can see me in the reflection. Uh, makes a lot of sense to have this and I can use it on digital bodies. Kind of has a weird flange distance, so, um, or flange distance. So it's good for uh, fourth, like um, mirrorless stuff, but for full frame stuff and for film stuff, kind of not great. Uh, another one of a Nikon lens, another Nikon lens, the, I think this is the 135, yeah, 135.28 uh, Nikon Q. I don't use this all the time, but when you do need a telephoto, this is what I grab. Um, but I don't shoot a lot of sports stuff and do, do a lot of telephoto stuff, but I will be keeping this because you never know when you need to do something like that and you don't have something like this, it's just kind of costly. Um, so always having one of these around 135 um, is not a bad idea, even if you don't use it a lot. Okay, this is a Hasselblad lens, um, Sonar 150 f4. Got it for a good deal on Adorama, so that's the reason I have it. If I do get more into portrait stuff, it's going to come in really handy, but right now it's just sitting there. Um, Actually, I would like to have, I would rather like to have the 50 millimeter uh, to shoot wide stuff, but the 150, you know, at the price, I think I got it for like $100 or less than $100, you really couldn't beat that price. So um, sometimes you buy stuff like that just to hold on to, but these are kind of dropping in price too. I don't know. I'm not sure if that was a super good um, idea buying it, but eh, you never know. Hasselblad VBAC, uh, these are the newer type of ones, or uh, this is the crank one. Um, these are actually preferable for me, uh, but I use either one, it's just a back. And then I got these from Adorama, they're blowing them out, so I don't know what was up with Adorama, but they were selling these for super cheap, like 40 bucks a pop. Um, so I just picked up a bunch and I'm glad I did because the price started going back up, but Adorama, really weird prices on stuff. Same thing here, uh, right angle. I think I got this for like 20 bucks on Adorama too. At one point, I think they were just flushed with um, Hasselblad gear, so they're just getting rid of it, so good deal. I don't use this one too much, um, but for $20, um, not a bad investment. Let's go to level two. Okay, first one, Olympus Pen, uh, Olympus Pen F, um, pretty special camera. Um, I think I picked the body up from Japan, like it came from Japan. And then, um, oh, I think it was a trade, maybe a trade with a, a customer or a fan. And then I got the lens um, from Japan. Yeah, someone traded me the body and then I got the lens um, from Japan. Had a little bit of issues and still does, but... Um, really nice camera, the only issue, and you'll, you'll hear it right now, is a super loud shutter. Is it? Oh, double wind. Oh, it wasn't too bad there. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's going to act funny. There's no film there right now, so probably not the best idea, but very loud shutter. Fun camera, though. Probably not selling this guy either. It's a uh, sentimental. Okay, this is like, this is easily the most popular lens I've seen. You can buy them for like $10. It's still a great lens, but it's the Canon FD 50mm uh, f1.8. Um, just very available. should keep lens caps and stuff on it. But um, if you're interested in this and you want to trade for something, let me know. I just have this around. I probably won't be using it for anything special. So um, the lens cap is pretty rad though. Okay, uh, Nikkei 28, uh, 28mm 28 2.8, um, don't have the UV filter on right now, just have the lens hood. Um, probably my favorite lens, uh, one of my favorite lenses, insanely sharp, insanely good, super versatile. I uh, use it for video all the time too. Comes out pretty close to 50 on a crop sensor, so super, 
super handy. And then I heard on Twitter, um, the 2820 was even better. So I'm going to have to check that out as well. This is PJ. This is PJ de Jesus's camera, the Nikon AF uh, 35 or L35 AF. Um, we, he still has my my home one with the 2835 on it, and I still have this, so we just haven't had time to trade back. Um, hopefully, you know he's doing well in Houston and, and going through all that. But um, pretty fun little camera. I think I enjoy it more and more, but um, I still don't use it as much as I should. Uh, pretty big boy. Hasselblad uh, 500CM. Um, this one I got on a pretty good deal. I think you've seen that video, but um, like I got my whole kit for like less than a grand, which is pretty amazing. Um, and not much to say. This is the VBAC, the old school style one. It's hot with film. I think I have HB5 in there at 1600. And one of the dumb things I do is not, I don't always mark like I, have, I should put stickers on it and say, like, that's the film in there, and then it's hot. Um, because I've shot, you know, I've opened them up and film's still be in there. And it's like, I'm not super, I'm not super meticulous about that stuff, and I should get better at it. Olympus OM-1. This is a, Olympus OM-1, this is a pretty um, special camera to me, too. The 50 millimeter f1.8, like all the 50 millimeter f1.8s are really sharp. This one um, is especially sharp, I think, of all the 50s. Um, maybe a little bit sharper than the Nikon ones, but um, super love this camera. This one is is important because um, when we were making fixed old cameras, we started it by fixing the silvering on the the um, prism here, and it's been in use in a couple of the fixed old camera videos. I helped kick that series off and that channel off, and um, and I enjoy the videos that are coming out there now, and this is um, this camera was a big part of that, I think. So, uh, never selling this guy. It's beat up though. It's pretty beat up though. This is actually <laughs> this is actually a spare Nikon FM. I really love the Nikon FM. Got a silver one. Um, this crank handle is a little bit jacked up, but. This is a spare. I have a couple spare. I have a spare OM-1 that PJ De Jesus has, and I have a spare FM, um, just in case anything happens. Um, I think it's, is it necessary to have a spare? No, probably not, but um, I have a couple of them. And if I get a spare, I'm going to have really cheap, so this one was like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> this is quite silly. This is the Context Q... Q135? Yeah. One three nine quartz. That's a terrible name for a camera. Um, I pretty much bought this for the lens, but this camera reminds me of the AE one a little bit um, better built, a little better quality, but um, really handles well. Has aperture, you know. I think it has um, aperture priority mode. It's, it's dark. Has aperture priority mode. A great camera. Um, just. I prefer manual focus ones, but this one's kind of actually pretty fun. I had a great time shooting with this one, so I may have to take it out more. And that contacts lens, ooh, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad in a good way, not pretty bad like in a bad way. Bottom shelf stuff is not so crazy. So another uh, VBAC, I think, I don't know if this is the 16 or a 12. I think it's another 12 back. So um, when I did load up, I reloaded up a lot. So this is another 12 back. Looks to be empty. Not sh I don't think it's hot. Let's see if it's hot. And this is a, damn, why are you doing this? But is it hot? Nope, it is not hot. And then a 16 back. So this one is actually in the box and everything. Um, wouldn't recommend getting these 16 backs because you know, if you're shooting full format, like why make that smaller? So um, that's my take on these ones. Um, if anybody wants to trade for this, um, I'd be down to trade. It's in really good condition. It comes in the original box and stuff like that. I just don't shoot um, 16. So if you're shooting, uh, to backing up, just if you're shooting 120, you can shoot in six by six or six by 4.5. And this is the six by 4.5. You get a, little more, a couple more frames on the thing. You get 16 instead of 12. 
saves money in the long run, but I think if you're shooting full frame, why not shoot full frame? This is a little bit smaller negative. So just dumped a bunch of stuff that I had around my house, but I'll go over it too. Seagull TLR, uh, picked this up cheap again and then repaired it. Pretty nice. Um, lens is, has a little bit of separation already, but should be okay. Roll, Rolly 35, uh, got this for 50 bucks, which is an insane deal. Um, it's a, not even, it's like a zone focus camera. It's fully, you, you get full focus, but you don't get to see anything in the viewfinder. So it's kind of a zone focus camera, um, extremely well built, pretty fun to use, but it is kind of weird to handle. It's kind of weird to use. Um, and not sure if I'll be keeping it in the long run, but right now, um, holding on to it. Got it for a good deal, so no need to rush on price or anything, or selling or anything. Black Nikon FM with the 50 millimeter 1.8. Love this lens, uh, makes it really small and compact. Um, so this is one of my favorite setups. So I have a love-hate relationship with Olympus Stylus. This one's dead, sadly. So I got this to kind of replace it in Avantix film. So can I get Avantix processing and film in my area? So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I just shot a roll yesterday. Four by five beast, the Graflex. Um, not even sure what model this is. Don't don't use it a lot. Don't use it a lot. So I gave my four by five film to David Hancock, um, and I'm gonna decide if I want this or need to trade it in. If anyone's interested in this and you have something you want to trade, let me know. Um, but you know, haven't used it much, and it's just sitting there. I also have a bunch of uh, film backs for it or um, dark slides. Slide holders, I forgot, I can't believe really I'm blanking on it, but uh, film holders for it as well. So let me know. It's good condition. I got it in Kansas for like $200, so um, great deal. Lastly, digital stuff that I shoot videos with EOS M2 with the 22 millimeter lens. Um, insanely great value. So if you're looking to start out shooting videos, EOS M series is just so cheap and shoots video quality pretty great. So um, great place to start. And the, this one, autofocus is terrible, but um, you can get around it. You can use manual focus. If anything, I was looking for like 22 millimeter manual focus lenses. They're pretty rare. So if anyone knows a good option to get a 22 millimeter manual focus lens, um, it would be perfect for video. So you just slap one, slap one of those on this and then set it for infinity or wherever, or set it for hyperfocal and you'd be set. Um, this focus is super close too, so it's extremely versatile. Then I have this setup as well. Canon T4i with a uh, 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, I should probably just sell this. I don't use it enough um, for video. Like, yeah, I could probably get away with two EOS M2s or the EOS M series. I use this for video a little bit, um, not much for photography at all so um maybe you just get rid of this kit but pretty handy pretty nice to have around it's just like if you're not using it why bother kind of thing so that's all the gear then let's close this video out hope you guys enjoyed that video so that was all the gear i currently have i'm not looking to buy more gear but if i see a good deal on stuff i usually do pick it up so um it's the curse it's the curse of being into this game so um film gears is really fun to have around too some of the stuff is pretty amazing just to look at and handle so hope you guys enjoyed that video i will be back again next week i think hopefully um and going over some other photography stuff these have been pretty fun to make they're like a lot less pressure so um um if not, see you guys. <laughs> That's a bad ending. It's a terrible ending, but I'm keeping it.